Hi everyone, good evening, this is Richie the Blind Hedgehog and welcome to this video. I'm here with Ghost, who just came, I believe, last week. He still has his tag and I gave him a name tag on his collar, uh, just to make sure that I remember his name. Um, yeah, I actually equipped my plush with a name tags like this, so that I did just little wooden, wooden sheets, heart-shaped little uh, sheets. Um, so that I can remember their names because I have so many and actually that comes in really handy but in this video I would like to show you an adorable package I just came today um, so after opening a white wolf I would like to have a look at a black wolf because actually on um, a Dutch website I came across an adorable black wolf that was a really good price that was the main reason why I collected him so um, I'm just gonna open the package now about ghost just in case you might be interested, I just had a look on Amazon.com today and I found a lying down version of this plush. Now, I don't really know if it's the same version, but I don't really know if it's larger. But if you want a ghost like this, it's also possible to have him lying down. So just have a look on Amazon where you can find, when you type in wolf plush, you might find him. So for people who are interested, this guy come from, comes from Amazon.fr, he comes from France. And I don't really know who or which company have him for sale right now. Um, so this is the guy that I collected because he was within reach. But just in case you might like a lying down one, that's also possible. Just check out the size. I did not did I didn't do that. So I'm gonna put ghost here. One of his front legs is really bent, unfortunately, but that's how he was in his packaging. Having him stand up is pretty hard. So there you go. I opened the package to check the size this morning. It was supposed to come tomorrow. It's really fast. Yeah, that's my phone texting me. Um, and here he is. So I'm very excited getting this guy, to be honest. I have been looking for a black wool for a while. This is not very large, it's adorable. Also, I think Wild Republic uh, has a black wolf available now. I noticed people have him already. It's just that I didn't manage to find him myself yet, but one day I hope I will, because I would like to collect him. But um, so just just in case people might be looking for a black wolf, you can also try to find the Wild Republic black wolf, which is apparently sitting down to Cuddlekins, I believe. Um, so that might be uh, possible as well. Um, there's uh, there's someone who made a nice video on YouTube about him. So there you go. I hope one day I can collect him. But I was very happy to find this one. Yeah, sit down you. Um, to find this one already it was a bit surprised. A bit big surprise. I have been looking for a black wolf for a while now and he looks adorable so of course it's not the most quality work I think I paid like 20 euros for this guy which is not much and when I actually touch him I can feel that his coat is a bit filmsy it feels exactly like some of the Wild Republic plushies with stitching that doesn't seem to hold on well um, the quality is not very very well on this plush to be honest you can actually feel that he's a bit filmy, and I don't think they actually used the right material on him. But he's he's a really nice shape, and this is what his head looks like. So he's not the most detailed and finished plush that I have. I know it's hard to see because he's so black. Uh, it's just that I need to give him his shape a bit. There you go. Because this is really special. He also comes in a smaller size. Apparently he was listed as being a Pia soft toy. Which I don't really know very well. Uh, I like the shape of his legs. He has like uh, legs that are the right length. They feel very soft. He has a nice fluffy tail. 
and I'm very excited to have this um, black wolf. I don't really know why I never found another. Uh, well, on this website I collected another one that I called it mid called Midnight, but it's not entirely black. This guy is like really black, and he stands up very well. So compared with Ghost, of course, Ghost is much larger, but this is awesome. I have been looking for white and black wolves for a while, and they're so hard to find, and I just have two here. I thought I was uh, about, yeah, I thought I would, I would have to spend a lot of money to obtain one of those, but I didn't. I didn't. I think I, I had these two for like 50 euros in, in, uh, in, in well, total amount, so I think it, it's... The price is fine, so that's a good thing, and, and I'm gonna cherry both of them. Look at the shape of the back legs, they're really long. Still have to find a nice name for him, and he has like little wires in his legs. What I really appreciate, that is a nice feature that they add to his design. It's the, the wires, because, yeah, well, see, Ghost is actually missing those. Um... And this is more like a walking position, as you can see, he's walking. Um, and he has his very his signature red eyes, a bit evil looking. Even if him standing like this is, is kind of hard. When I put this guy next to him, well, it's not bad. Not bad, it's a bit smaller. But I'm, I'm glad to have this, this black wolf. He is a great addition to my collection. So it's not the best plush that I have. Actually, his hair comes off. Um, look at this. I can just... He's, he's like shedding. It's amazing. The hair just comes off when you pull it out. That is, that is really bad quality there. Um, I'm just gonna throw this away. Make sure I don't have... Sorry about that. Um, make sure it doesn't go on the ground. Um, and so I won't be able to groom this guy. Fortunately, he is, uh, his quality is a bit... Yeah, well, indeed. Wild Republic plushies sometimes also have a bit of quality issues, but it's actually even worse on this guy. So, but I don't abuse my plush and he will be well taken care of. I really like his shape. Um, I will put, put a nice color on him. Also, the stitching is missing a bit of, yeah, finishing work. And here, also here is losing a lot of hair. It is actually assembled with the material that I sometimes feel on cheaply made blush, indeed. Um, I like that his he has a soft head, but he has this very... It's hard to see. It, it has, he has his, his, this very furry, fluffy material on him. Um, unfortunately, he doesn't give his hair a nice finishing touch. It's not like for Ghost's fur, look. Ghost has longer fur and it gives him a much more natural look. It's like it's real fur. Here, for example, to the length of the hair and how it feels. This, this plush is much better quality than this one here. I got this guy on ball.com. Every Dutch user or visitor of this channel will know this website. Um, so get this plush, but don't expect it to be incredible good quality. Of course, I just paid like 20 euros for him, which is, well, which is not much money for a plush this size and for a black wolf. But I will definitely try and do my best to collect the Wild Republic black wolf. Um, I really like that this guy is standing. I like the the shape of his of his legs. He's absolutely majestic. I know it's kind of hard to see him. Um, but he will stand up very well. So, except from the fur, he is absolutely charming. I was thinking of calling him Ninja. 
but I'm not sure yet. So, he's absolutely great. There you go. Well, as you can see, he's not tagged. That's how I came out of the package. He's not tagged at all. He's, uh, and I have no idea where he come from. Only, the only thing that was said about him was Pia toys, so. As long as you don't pull out his hair, we'll be fine. Gorgeous plushie, gorgeous wolf. Might be a black dog, too. I was also interested, actually, to find a black wolf. Uh, I wanted to collect the um, serious black dog from Harry Potter from Universal Studios, but that was an extremely expensive um, idea, so I never did this so far. Also because I wasn't quite sure it was a good idea. I'm actually really glad I, I finally found the black wolf, really. Oh, that was missing actually in the collection and the white one as well so it will be ghosts but there you go i really hope you enjoyed the video i would call them ying and yang if they didn't have a name yet just look at the shape of the oh it's amazing this is a gorgeous blush too bad the quality is so bad because i like this blush i really like it now i really hope you enjoyed this video guys and i'll see you later Thanks for watching. Bye.